Hello and welcome to Edinburgh City FC TV with myself, Stephen Dixon. This weekend's match highlights comes from yesterday's SPFL League 2 top of the table clash at Ainsley Park between second place Edinburgh City and the league leaders Peterhead. Edinburgh City's last five have seen them pick up three victories and two draws, scoring six, conceding four along the way. Meanwhile, Peterhead's last five have seen them pick up four victories and one defeat, scoring seven conceding four in the process. Last five head-to-heads between the pair, one win each and three draws. So it's going to be Peter Head to get us going as referee Stephen Kirkland blows his first whistle of the afternoon. That ball's launched down the left and it comes off Rory McAllister. Peter Head get that ball away at the back. Once followed by Dunlop. Edinburgh City playing keep ball here. Oh, they've given the ball away and here's the chance as McAllister! Great save from Antel. Ball is knocked into his path uncharacteristically so by Mark Laird, it has to be said. An early chance for the visitors. Foul by the Peter Head left back, Patrick Boyle on Scott Shepherd. Free kick for the hosts. And a yellow card brandished in the direction of Ryan Dow for his troubles. Complaining about the original decision. Free kick, Peter Head. Oh, good handling there in the end by Antel. Of course, Edinburgh City looking to claw back some points. Of course, Peter Head, five clear going into this one at top. And now here is Dow. Plays it square. Still, Peter Head have it. Almost falls kindly there for a Peter Head. Number eight, Scott Brown. That's knocked out by Antel. Edinburgh City. Oh, they've found themselves in all sorts of problems. Here's Rory McAllister. That's a team effort in the end from 18 yards. Well saved, Callum Antel, nevertheless. And again, it's Jim McAnally's men on the counter attack. Peter Head with a chance. It's. Oh, it's. Wide in the end, it was a good. Well, actually, thought it was a save in the end. Shane Sutherland denied. Free kick, Molly Gibson, the former Kilmarnock man for Peter Head. What a save that was from Callum Antel. And it's Edinburgh City number one just sprung to his top left hand corner just to tip that over the bar. Corner kick, Peter Head, great save. Antel. Gibson again with a set piece for the visitors. Headed on, is a chance, McAllister comes off the bar! And Edinburgh City should get us away through Robbie McIntyre. Ball just bobbling about in the middle of the park and it's knocked forward for the run of McAllister. He's beyond Thompson, gets a shot, good save. It was the knees of Antel and away by Balatoni. Craig Thompson, Edinburgh City skipper, knocks that forward, finds Blair Henderson, knocks it on to Scott Shepard, who's supporting wide right. There's Shepard, he's inside the Peter Head box, cuts it back. Oh, and it almost falls kindly there. It was Adam Watson, just couldn't get a shot away. By it was Gareth Roger, he was fouled. It's a yellow card for Gibson of Peter Head. There's a number 33 becomes the second player to be yellow carded this afternoon. And now here is Watson. Helps that on. And now it's Shepard back to the advancing. Adam Watson gets the ball. It's a deep cross and it's headed wide in the end. It was Edinburgh City. Number 15, Bradley Donaldson. And now here is City again applying the pressure. Knocked by McIntyre at the back post. Oh, and it's headed just wide. It's Blair Henderson. Not far away from the head of our city target man, the man who generally delivers the goals. And now here is Robbie McIntyre, left foot shots, charged down, and it was, well, it was a handball was used by Scott Brown, and it will be a free kick for Edinburgh City. And Scott Brown has been shown the yellow card for his troubles, mainly due to the fact he complained about the decision. So McIntyre or Thompson, it's going to be Thompson with a free kick, side netting from the Edinburgh City captain. He claimed there was a touch on its way through off a Peterhead player, but 
Nothing doing, says the referee. Adam Watson knocks that on, looking for the run of Scott Shepard. It's headed back, though, by Boyle. Back to the goalkeeper, Greg Fleming. He's out of his goal. He's giving the ball straight to Adam Watson. Watson's got a chance here. Right foot shot towards the Peterhead six-yard box. And it's hooked away, though, by Patrick Boyle. Throw in four. Edward said it right into the mixer of Peter Head and it comes off Palatoni's head and into the grateful hands of Greg Fleming. Blue tune. Now Edward Asiri again. Blair Henderson the target headed away though by Dunlop. Ball still bobbling about Blair Henderson in there again and Fleming again has all the answers to it, all the questions. Goalkeepers on top in this one. Cal Mantel having a wonderful afternoon for Edward City at the opposite end. Greg Fleming doing his job correctly for Peter Head. Meanwhile, this may well end up being another booking. It is. And this time, it goes the way of the Peter Head goal machine, Rory McAllister, for that foul on William Henderson. Corner kick to the citizens into the box. Oh, and it almost falls kindly there. Roger was in there, but it's gone against Roger. There was a foul in there on Patrick Boyle. Uh, here is Gareth Roger in the halfway circle. He goes down under the, the challenge. There from the Peterhead number 11 this time. Paul Willis. Another booking. And that is the last action of this match. Neither side were able to crack the code to unlock the defence for a goal at either end of the, the pitch. It was uh, it's ended in steel, mate, a typical hard to separate game, it has to be said, and it's ended goalless, it's 0-0 at full time, as the gap remains at five points, witnessed by 1057, Edinburgh City 0, Peterhead 0.